Judges, may I proceed to the first official round? All right. Students, are you ready for the first, first official round? Okay. This word has a homonym. Your word is nose. Nose is a noun, and it means the part of the face that sticks out and has the nostrils. Nose. Nose. N-O-S-E. Nose. Taxi. Taxi. T-A-X-I. Taxi. Food. Food. F O O E. Food. This word has a homonym. Your word is bird. Bird is a noun, and it means a warm blooded feathered animal that lay eggs, that lays eggs, and has wings instead of arms. Bird. Bird. B I R D. This word has a homonym. Your word is wear. Wear is a verb, and it means to use or to have on your body. Wear. Wear. W-E-A-R. Rules. R-U-L-E-S. Rules. This word has a near homonym. Your word is boring. Boring is an adjective that means causing a feeling of weariness or dissatisfaction. Dull. Boring. Boring. B-O-R-I-N-G. Boring. This word has a homonym. Your word is Ferns. Ferns is a plural noun that means non-flowering leafy plants that reproduce by spores instead of seeds. Ferns. Ferns. F-E-R-N-S. Fern. Sandbox. Sandbox. S A. D-I-V-O-X. Elbow. E-L-B-O-W. Elbow. This word has a homonym. Your word is braid. Braid is a verb, and it means, it means to weave three or more strands of hair together into one or more lengths. Braid. Braid. B-R-A-I-D. Braid. Stuck. Stuck. S-T-U-C-K. Stuck. This word could be confused with a similar word. Your word is lawn. Lawn is a noun. Lawn means ground covered with grass that is kept closely mowed. Lawn. Lawn. L-A-W-N. Lawn. Posters. 
posters. P O S T E R S. Posters. Swift. S. Swift. S W I F T. This word has a homonym. Your word is moody. Moody is an adjective, an adjective that means unhappy and rude, grumpy. Moody. M O O D Y. Moody. Grain. Grade. G R A D E. Grade. Coast. Coast. C O A S T. Coast. Restless. Restless. R E S T L E S S. Parents. Parents. P A R E N T S. Parents. And that, I believe, is the end of our second, of our first official round. Thank you, spellers. Good job. Remember, you can ask me any, any questions. If you want me to pronounce it, define it, use it in a sentence, please ask away. Judges, are we ready to start the second round? Let me just take a real quick sip of water. All right, we'll start the second round. Your word has a near homonym. Your word is temper. Temper is a noun, and it refers to calmness of mind. Temper. Temper. T-E-M-P-E-R. Temper. This word could be confused with a similar word. Your word is paint. Paint is a noun, and it's a mixture of color and a liquid that forms a thin coating when applied to a surface. Paint. Paint. P-A-I-N-T. Paint. Banana. Banana. B -A -N -A. M -A -M -A. Untidy. Untidy. U N T I D Y. Untidy. Darkest. Darkest. D A R K E S T. Chatter. Chatter. C H A T T E R. Chatter. Sturdy. Sturdy. S T U R D Y. Sturdy. This word could be confused with a similar word. Your word is riddle. Riddle is a noun, and it means a puzzling question to be guessed at. Riddle. Riddle. R-I-D-D-L-E. Riddle. This word could be confused with a similar word. Your word is dollars. Dollars is a plural noun, and it means notes representing the unit of money used in the United States. 
Dollars. Dollars. D O L O A R S. Dollars. Feast. Can you repeat the word, please? Feast. Feast. F E A S T. Feast. Subject. Subject. S U B J E C T. Subject. This word has a homonym. Your word is might. Might is a verb. And might means? Might is a word expressing that something is possible or could happen. Might. Might. M I G H T. Might. This word has a homonym. Your word is flicker. Flicker means verb, and flicker means to burn in spurts. Flicker. Flicker. O L I C K E R. Flicker. Onion. O N I O N Strange Strange S T R A N G E Strange M-A-R-R-I-E-D. Mary. Pounds. Pounds. P-O-U-N-D-S. Pounds. Supplies. Supplies. S U P P L I E S supplies. Judges, I believe that's the end of the second round. All right, made it through the second round. Congratulations. <laughs> Judges, may I begin the third round? The word is. Twine. Twine. T W I N E. Twine. Nifty. Again. Nifty. Nifty. N I F T Y. Nifty. Monkeys. Monkeys. M O N K E Y S. Monkeys. Contract. Contract. C O N T R A. C T contract. Your word is a near homonym. Your word is belief. Belief is a noun and it means 
when you trust or put your confidence in a place, a person, or a thing. Belief. Belief. B E L I E F. Belief. Janitor. J A N I T O R. Janitor. Observe. Observe. O B S E R V E. Observe. Anteater. Anteater. A N T E A T E R. Anteater. Elderly. Elderly. E L D E R L Y. Elderly. Your word could be confused with a similar word. Your word is portable. Portable is an adjective, and portable means light enough to be carried. Portable. Portable. P O R T A B O E portable. Timidly. Timidly. T I M D L Y. Timidly. This word has a near homonym. Your word is massive. Massive is an adjective. It means weighty, heavy, massive. May I please have it in a sentence? Joel lifted his massive backpack and nearly toppled over. Massive. M A S S I V E. Massive. Interlacing yarn using your hands or machine needles. Knitting. Knitting. K N I T T I N G. Knitting. And that concludes our third round. Congratulations. <laughs> I can tell these students have been studying their words. Judges, may I proceed to the to the fourth round? Yes. All right, students, are you ready for the fourth round? Yes? Okay. This word might be confused with a similar word. Your word is hooves. Hooves is a plural noun, and it means curved, 
hard covering that protect the feet of an animal, such as a horse. Hooves. H-O-O-V-E-S. Hooves. Indicate. Indicate. I N D I C A T E. Indicate. Performance. Performance. P E R A. A N C E. Performance. Biology. Biology. B I O L O G Y. Biology. This word has a homonym. Your word is clause. Clause is a noun, which means a group of words in a sentence that has its own subject and verb. Clause. Can you in the sentence? Mrs. Hudson told Eddie to simplify his sentence by removing an extra clause. Can you see the definition of it? A group of words in a sentence that has its own subject and verb. C-L-A-U-S-E. Specific. S-P-E-C-I-F-I-C. -E -I -I Specific. Bemused. Hmm? Bemused. B e e m u s e d. Bemused. Invisible. Invisible. I n v i s i b l e. Invisible. Vocabulary. Vocabulary. V O C A B U L A R Y. Vocabulary. Contestants. Contestants. C O N T E S T A N T S. Contestants. to win the election on her opponent's promise to have free ice cream in the cafeteria. Here. F-A-I-L-Q-R-E. Failure. This word has a near homonym. Your word is beckon. Beckon is a verb, and beckon means to appear inviting, to attract. 
Beckon. Beckon. B E C K O N. Beckon. Fortune. Fortune. F O R T U N E. Fortune. Dimension. May you put it in a sentence, please? Dimension. Height is one dimension of a cube. Dimension. Dimension. D E M E N T I O N. Caterpillar. Caterpillar. C A T E R P I. L L A R. Caterpillar. Tight rope. Tight rope. T I G H T R O P E. Tight rope. Congratulations, kids. You've made it past the fourth round. Our words are certainly going to get more challenging. Sure. Judges, may I continue to the fifth round? Okay. Students, are you ready for the fifth round? Okay. Fifth round it is. Esteem. Esteem. E-S-T-E-E-M. Esteem. Georgia brought an old desk at an Art Deco vase at an auction. Auction. A U C T I O N. Auction. This word can be confused with a similar word. Your word is thicket. Thicket is a noun and it means a dense growth of shrubbery or small trees. Thicket. Thicket. T H I C K E T. Thicket. Mildew. Dry measure used in the U.S. Bushel. Bushel. E U S H E L. Bushel. Sediment. Sediment. S E D I M E N T. Sediment. Peculiar. Peculiar. P E C U L I A R. Peculiar.
Claude Hopper. May I please have it in the sentence? After a long day of being on his feet, Liam was dismayed to realize that he had a hole in his left Claude Hopper. Claude Hopper. C L O D H O P P E R. Claude Hopper. This word could be confused with a similar word. Your word is quashed. Quashed is a verb, and quashed means to put an end to it. Quashed. Quashed. Q-U-A-S-H-E-D. Quashed. Dandruff. D. Dandruff. D A N D R U F F. Cutlery. Can you see it in sentence? Beth and David received a new set of cutlery as a wedding present. Cutlery. The happy couple used their cut cutlery as knives to cut their steaks. Cutlery. Can you say it one more time? Cutlery. Cutlery. C U T L Y E R. Cutlery. This word can be confused with a similar word. Your word is gnarled. Gnarled is an adjective. Gnarled means warped or twisted, as if it's in knots. Gnarled. Gnarled. G-N-A-R-L-E-D. Gnarled. You've gotten through the fifth round. Congratulations. Judges, may I begin with the sixth round? All right, sixth round it is. Varsity. Varsity. V A R S I T Y. Varsity. Enchantment. Enchantment. E N C H A N T M E N T. Enchantment. Mystic. Because of the breathtaking scenery, New Mexico earned the nickname the Land. Oh, excuse me. Next word. Mystic. The mystic was known far and wide for his wisdom. Mystic. Can I have the definition? Mystic. A follower of a spiritual way of life. Mystic. Mystic. M Y S T I C. Mystic. Ravine. Can you say the sentence, please? Charla and Anthony managed to cross the ravine using an old bridge. Ravine. Ravine. R A V I N E. Ravine. Perilous. 
Can you repeat the word, please? Perilous. P A R A L I S E. Rendition. Rendition. R E N D I T I O N. Rendition. Avian. Avian. A V A I N. Avian. Engineering. Engineering. E N G I N E E R I N G. Engineering. Feckless. Feckless. F E C K L E S S. Feckless. Compatriots. May I please have it in the sentence? Kendra gathered her compatriots to think up ways to boast sales at the school snack bar. Compatriots. May I have the definition? Compatriots means close associates or colleagues. Compatriots. Can you please repeat the word? Compatriots. Compatriots. C O N. E-A-T-R-I-O-T-S, compatriot. Heredity. Can you hear the definition? Heredity. Fiona thanks her heredity for her naturally bright red hair. Heredity. Heredity. H E R E D I T Y. Heredity. Indifference. I N D I F F R E N C E. Indifference. Opinionated. Opinionated. O P I N I O N A T E D. Opinion. All right, and I believe that concludes the sixth round. Folks, you survived. Congratulations. <laughs> Let me see. Four and five, let's get you next to number two. Seven, can you move down to 11? And 13, can you come next to 11? I believe that's 14 and 20. Make it easier for you all. I don't know about you all, but I'm getting very nervous. This is very exciting. All right, judges, may I begin with the seventh round? Seventh round, wow. Okay, here we go, seventh round. Vulpine. Vulpine. V U L P I N E. Vulpine. Honolulu. 
U S A N T register. Potentialities. Gesticulations. Gesticulations. Expressive motions of the body or limbs. Gesticulations. Martha's wild gesticulations gave away her excitement as she retold the story. Gesticulations. Patagonia has an area of about 260 square miles and is sometimes considered to include the Tierra del Fuego archipelago, Patagonia. Patagonia. A N A G O N I A Prestidigitation dazzled the class. Prestidigitation. May I have the definition? The practice of magic or trickery usually involving manual dexterity. Prestidigitation. May you please repeat the word? Prestidigitation. Prestidigitation. P-R-E-S I D G I A T I O N Festivity 
And I believe that brings us to the end of a, the eighth round. We have four, four spellers left. I think they deserve a big round of applause. <laughs> Judges, may I begin the ninth round? Students, are you ready for the ninth round? Okay, here we go. Tiptoe. Tiptoe. T I P T O E. Tiptoe. Spry. 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 Chopstick. Chopstick. C H O P S T I C K. Chopstick. Blubber. Can you repeat the word, please? Blubber. Blubber. B L U B B. That takes us to the end of the ninth round, and we still have the same four spellers. A big round of applause. <laughs> Judges, may I start on the tenth round? Tenth round it is. All right, speller number one. Select. Can you repeat the word, please? Select. Mrs. Fielding told Ruby she could select one candy from the bowl at the reception desk. Select. Select. S I L H Feature. Keith thinks his salt and pepper hair is his best feature. First, usually having some unity greater than that of mere contiguity. Couplet. Couplet. C U P L E T. Juncture. Can the door please? Juncture. Welding the two steel plates together created a raised ridge at their juncture.
Yes. Okay. So the last two spellers should not leave. That would be speller number four and speller number one. Okay, speller number four and speller number one, don't, don't leave. All right. Do you want me to continue on the list, Ryan? Okay. You ready for your word? Okay. Your word is scuffle. Scuffle. Your word is hostage. Hostage. H O S T I D G E. Hostage. <coughs> okay, come back and sit down. And number two, right? I'll continue with the next word on the list, judges. Okay. Your word has a near homonym. Your word is treasure. Treasure is a noun, is a noun that is something of great worth or value. Treasure. Treasure. Short legs and smooth and compact feathers. Pigeon. Pigeon. P I G E O N. Pigeon. Do you want me to continue with the same list? The 
This is fun, right? <laughs> All right. Girls are doing a great job. All right. Demolish. Demolish. D I M O L E B G E. Frustrated. Can't go in. Frustrated. Your word is bereft. Bereft. B e e r e f f e d. Bereft. Sectional. Sectional. Combination. Combination. C O M B I N A T I O N. confused with another word. Your word is poplar. Poplar is a noun and a poplar is the state tree of Kentucky. Poplar. Poplar. P-A-U-P-E-R. Poplar. one of her family's dining room chairs. Rivet. Rivet. R-I-V-E-T. Rivet. All right, get the next one. Right. Your word is codify. Codify. C-O-D-I-F-Y. Codify. We have a champion. Ladies and gentlemen, our champion, Carla Madrigal from Lindecker Elementary School. <laughs> Hang on just one minute. Do you want spellers? Yeah, do we have a first place and a second? 
We have our second place. Oh, second place, what is your name? Amelia? Come over here so I can hear you. <laughs> oh, Camelia Magallanes, what a beautiful name. From what school? From K. Tarver Elementary. From Camelia Magallanes. All right, judges, you want me to bring back spellers number one and four to determine uh, third and fourth place? Is that correct? Okay. All right. Do you want me to continue with the words on page 58? Okay. All right, this is really exciting. We have never, in the many years that we've been doing this, I don't think we've ever had a tiebreaker, and we haven't made it past 11 rounds, so this is a big accomplishment for all of our students. All right, speller number one. Your word is identical. Can you repeat the word? Identical. Identical. Can you sit in the sentence, please? During the baking competition, Dean made sure the decoration on each of his cookies was identical. Identical. I, D, E, N, T, I C A M identical. Your word is conducive. Conducive. Layla believed a quiet environment was conducive to good study. Conducive. Conducive. C O N D U S I V E. Conducive. Judges. I'll have her spare one more, or? The next word, okay. Number one, will you return to the microphone? Your word is distribute. Distribute. D-I-S-T-R- I B U T E distribute. Do we have a third place winner? All right, tell me your name, sir. Hector. Jesus Moncada. Jesus Moncada from what school? J C Martin. J C Martin. So we have our first, second, and third, and your fourth, right? Third. Okay. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I'd like to thank everybody in the audience for, for your patience <laughs> and for your nerves. Thank you all, and we'll see you next year. <laughs>